traditionalism, whether patriarchy or religious, racialism too, even though that might not necessarily be lumped in with traditionalism, they all need to take into account the fact that souls do exist. And the reason for this is simple, really. You hear the old age old argument, well, if there is no soul, then we have to either assume that everyone's equal, which obviously isn't true, or we have to take in completely egotistical, no, egoist policies go that IQ genesis route and that's a mess on the opposite spectrum. So either an absolute slave morality or an absolute master morality. Which master morality is usually just egoism of another word. But then breaking it down a little bit more there is definitely an idea for an actual soul. If I, for example, for a materialist, going that direction first off, getting the racialist equation out for a second, if I were to replace my body limb from limb, my fingers, my hands, organ by organ, in a gradual process, ultimately reaching the nervous system, my brain, replace that to some extent, am I still me? The materialist usually says that we are our brains. There is some truth to that. However, every six months, every cell in our body does, for the most part, decay and get replaced with new ones. It's a gradual thing. But to some extent, I'm not the same person I was in June. I'm much in the same logic, neither are any of you guys watching this. But does that mean I'm a different person altogether? That the David Favre of June or the Mr. Wonka 7 of June is essentially a dead person? No, not really. So are you going to go the genetics route? Well, there are some flaws with the genetics route. For starters, take something like the Aryans. The Aryans of back then are way different than the Aryans of now. Not so different, but you can tell. And much in the same way, many of the Hebraics, the Jews, over the past couple of millenniums, there are different people. Hell, past couple of centuries, the things people have said about them over the years, the history, the narrative, not not the liberal narrative, of course, just the way things have gone. They're still them. So, assuming that genetics is destiny. We can't just assume that on a material less level that that's all it is. There has to be some concept of the soul. And since I've been talking about Evola a lot and Arianism, we can't just assume that race itself is a materialistic thing, that it's just in the DNA. That's that doesn't flow well. And that's also why I don't completely identify with race realists. That's why I am not necessarily concerned with... What the fuck? Someone's stomping in my room. And fuck all these people. So I'm not sympathetic with the libertarian realists of the world or things like that. Because they take it on a genetic level, especially fringe. I mean, French and libertarian realists both diss Nazism because of its weird Aryanism. 
a lot of guys in my similar circle they get on my case whenever I involve myself with Edenism. You're just using the word Cro-Mag makes them say, get the fuck out of my channel. Fucking emo ass Jesus looking nigga. They hate that shit. Because once it gets out of that materialistic level, they're tight. And of course, on a manospheric level, advocating patriarchy, even in front of these guys that are all about dudes that gets them tight Yo, I think someone's getting killed I mean I'm hearing screams, stomps um, I think someone's getting strangled oh well And if you do advocate for patriarchy, it's going to be a very milk toast, bland kind of patriarchy. It's not going to be a very spiritual or holistic kind. And I can't get behind that either. Anyway, this is Mr. Wonk7. Hope you guys are having a good day. Good night, actually. Or whatever time you're watching this video, I really don't give a fuck. Just, it's like Happy Holidays or Merry Christmas. I'm just going to say Merry Christmas if you don't let that fuck you, but enjoy yourselves. Don't suck on my dick since we're treading holiday territories. Uh, suck on a candy cane. That's really good.